it is the task of every lecturer to consider the didactic principles known from learning research in their lesson planning and execution. For this, a didactic toolbox is needed, which consists of various teaching strategies and methods. Teaching strategies are structures made up of shorter or longer lesson sequences. Crucial didactic principles including activity, incorporation, motivation, and placement are key to these structures. Established teaching strategies are, for example, the sandwich teaching strategy, expository learning model, cognitive apprenticeship, and project strategy. A teaching strategy consists of a sequence of teacher-centered and learner-centered methods. Typical teacher-centered methods are the introductory speech or teaching demonstration. Learner-centered methods are the activating methods such as application cards or directed paraphrasing. The connection between teaching strategy and teaching methods can be clearly described by the sandwich teaching strategy. In a typical 45-minute teaching slot, the sandwich teaching strategy is a model that differentiates several consecutive learning moments. What stands out first is the typical bracket structure for each lesson unit. It is beneficial for learning to design the introduction and closing consciously, while the introduction contextualizes and motivates into a topic the closing consists of a short summary and another contextualization and motivation. Contextualization means being able to demonstrate how central learning contents in an activity are associated with each other, how they build upon previous knowledge, and where aspects will now be deepened and expanded upon. Contextualization may also indicate the relevance of the covered contents for practical use in occupational fields or everyday life. In the next step, the sandwich base, previous knowledge is activated in order that the input can better connect to existing experiences. On top of that will be the filling, the input, for example, in the form of an introductory speech or video presentation. The sandwich top represents the crucial sequence of assurance of learning achievements after a received input. The unit closes with the second bracket, the conscious closing of the event. The methodical arrangement of the sandwich architecture might look as follows. The presentation method is commonly used as an introduction. Here the contextualization may be some form of advanced organizer or visualized learning map. Previous knowledge might be activated by using a survey method such as Mentimeter or Kahoot. The input sequence is often achieved in form of an introductory speech from the lecturer. Ideally, an introduction should not take longer than 20 minutes. As an assurance of learning achievements, the applications cards method could be used. The closing sequence is once again created by the presentation. Activating methods are learning tasks that encourage students to draw upon previous knowledge, and they should include an assurance of learning achievements. The competencies the student is supposed to train or practice is substantiated by the verb. For example, the ability to name, explain, apply, or rate something. For a teaching slot of 90 minutes, the double sandwich can be applied, which means the sequence activating previous knowledge, input, assurance of learning achievements is performed two times, interjected by a moderation sequence. If a longer appliance phase is used instead, we are implementing the expository learning model. Sandwich strategy and expository learning models are commonly selected teaching concepts because they are applicable online or face-to-face -face independent of the group size. For other teaching strategies, such as cognitive apprenticeship or the project strategy, group size is often the only limiting factor.